Hello and welcome to A Short Hike. Um, this is a indie game that was just released for the Switch a few hours ago, actually. Um, I just came back from watching the Nintendo Indie World presentation where they show upcoming indie games. And this was one of the games that they showed, and I instantly fell in love with the art style and the music. Um, the reviews online said it was a cross between Animal Crossing and The Breath of the Wild, which are two of my favorite games, so of course I naturally had to try out this game. Um, it's only $7 on the eShop. Um, and I actually didn't have to spend a dime on this. Um, what I did was I used my Nintendo Gold Points to purchase it. Um, you get around $3 um, or 300 Gold Points every time you purchase a $60 game. Um, so I had a bunch of Gold Points laying around, and it seems like this was a great opportunity to use them. So let's jump right into it. Uh, let's check the options. Oh, I love the, um, the toggle uh, sound. It's so cute. This all sounds good to me. Alright, let's jump right into it. I never get tired of this view. Claire, you're going to have a great time here this summer. I think. It'll be good to get away from the city. And take a break from everything else going on. You still awake? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Hold on a little longer. We're almost at the ferry. Oh my god, I love it. Let's see what the controls are. So this is walk around. Oh, we can fly a bit. Okay, interesting. Um... We found a shell. There's a fish there. Can I take the fish? Nah. Um, so it looks like Y is going to be our inventory. Okay, cool. Hello. Hey, uh, how's it going? I haven't seen you all day. You been busy? Um, kind of. Well, not really. I've just been waiting around for a call. Well, there's a problem. There's no reception out here. Wait. What? Yeah, I mean, pretty much no reception. You might be able to get some at Hawk Peak. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Well, that's pretty far, isn't it? It's not that far. We've all made the trek back before. I figured you would have gone already. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to go. But, I just... I haven't gotten around to it yet. Well, today's as good a day as any. Just take the White Beach Trail and head north of the fork. Then follow the signs for Hawk Peak. No problem. Hawk Peak really is wonderful. You're going to love it. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. It's quite a hike, sure. But our family has been going there for generations. Yep. The hot springs at the peak create these amazing updrafts. The feeling of flying up there is incredible, but isn't it kind of dangerous? <laughs> Not really. It'll be no problem for you. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. Can we go inside? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's go to um, Hawk Peak Trails to get self-interception. Hey, there's a friend here. Claire! Did you know? You can hold A while running to glide through the air? Of course. Everyone knows that. Why do you ask? I, I don't know. I just had a feeling you might want to know. Um, okay. <laughs> I love this game. Whoa. Look at that. We're gliding. Hey you, find me 15 shells. What, why? I want him. Yeah, but why? It's a secret. <laughs> All right, I'll keep an eye out. Keep both eyes out, please. All right, I'm starting to see that right off the bat, this game has some really enjoyable meta commentary. Um, so the first person we talked to that said, 
you know, do you know how to glide? And we responded, yeah, everyone knows how to glide. And this person is like, I want 15 shells. Um, but they don't tell us the reason why. It's exactly kind of um, poking fun at how games normally start. Games normally start by giving you tutorials. Um, like, someone will tell you, hey, you know how to run, right? Um, but within the universe, that seems kind of stupid. Like, of course, everyone knows how to run. Um, but of course, at the same time, the game needs to tell you or teach you some way of... Um, of uh, doing all these mechanics if you're not used to the game. And this game is just poking fun at that, it seems. Um, one of the more clever ways I've seen developers get around that is by... I love this music, oh my god. I'm just gonna stay silent for a bit. Hey Claire, how's the day treating you? Well, I'm just getting out of the house now. Ah, it's one of those kind of days. Yeah, I've been kind of caught up in my head all morning. Hmm, would you say you feel lost and directionless? Um, maybe. Well, I've got just a thing for you. Take this. To use it, press Y to open your inventory. Then select it from the items menu. Oh, um, thanks. This should come in handy. Happy hiking! White Coast Trail is that way, Hawk Peak Trail is that way. Sid Beach and the Visitor Center are below. Hey dude, what's happening? Oh, sorry, that was us. Oh, you know, just jamming out on the beach, building sandcastles and whatnot. Sounds like a good time. You know it. Can I borrow your shovel? Sorry, bud. I need it for sandcastle construction. Isn't it a little big for that? Yeah, but that's just how shovels are. You can get smaller ones. Ones made for sandcastles. What? Sounds fake. But if you can show me one, I'd be glad to trade. Hey there, what are you up to today? Um, I'm hiking up to Hawk Peak. That's a tough hike. You know, you'll need to learn to rock climb to make it to the top. Why not join our rock climbing club? Oh, um, is it just the two of you? Hey, the Rock Climbers Association has hundreds of members spanning over 35 countries worldwide. Hundreds of members growing and refining the art of rock climbing, pushing their craft to its absolute limit and beyond. Um, I'm, I meant, if it's just the two of you, like, here? What of it? Listen, kid, climbing ain't for the weak of heart. Most people don't have what it takes. Um, it's not really that bad. So anyway, you want to join the Climbers Club? Sure. Great. We've got our third member. Not third. Just another drop in the hundreds worldwide. Alright, alright. Anyway. So first things first, you got a golden feather? Um, not yet. Ah, you can't climb without one, but you can buy them at the visitor center. They should be pretty cheap. Come back when you bought one. Um, like I was saying, one of the more clever ways that games tend to get by, um, the whole tutorial part 
but also making it make sense within universe is by having tests. Um, so for example, in Spirit Tracks, The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, um, of course you don't know how to drive the train at the start of the game. Um, and the game can't teach you how to, you know, conduct a train um, without it feeling kind of weird. Um, like you're supposed to be like this engineer, how do you know, not know how to fly a train or drive a train? Um, the game's way of explaining that um, and also explaining it to you without it making without it making it awkward is by um, your instructor being like, all right, let's do a little review of the mechanics um, because your big test is coming up. I've heard some rumors. Do you like rumors? I, I, I dabble. Okay, hear me out. Jim just bought a metal detector. He was running around yesterday looking for stuff around the island. He was going nutso. It seems like there's stuff buried all over the island. What kind of stuff? I don't know. Metal stuff? It seems like this game is doing something similar with the rock climbing. Um, the way they explain uh, rock climbing is by having a club where you need to be a member to learn how to climb. Instead of the game like uh, teaching you how to do it through like a text box or something. Welcome to Hawk Peak Provincial Park. Enjoy a scenic trek to Out Outlook Point or follow Hawk Peak Trail up to the highest point in the province. Although this island is known for its titular mountain peak, it is also home to a number of beautiful beaches and forests. Did you know? The infamous local dish Strawberries and Toast was invented here at Har Hawk Peak. Please join us at 5pm to enjoy a delicious serving of the historical dish. Howdy. How can I help you? I heard you sell golden feathers here. Ah, we do. You can buy one for 40 coins. Do we have 40 coins? We have exactly 40 coins. I'll take it. Sure, here you go. Let me explain how they work. If you press A while in midair, you can flap your wings for a double jump. But that's not all. To climb a wall, push against it and hold A. The more golden feathers you have, the more you'll be able to climb and fly. Have fun out there. Okay. What else do they sell here? I saw that was an option. We're kind of low in stock, but that's good actually. It's been a busy season. Provincial parks must be trending or something. It's possible. Anyway, we only have one hat left. It costs 100 coins. Oh, uh, I don't think you can afford it. Oh, right. Oh, I opened this on accident. So it seems like the more golden feathers we have, the longer we'll be able to glide. You got a golden feather? Yep. Great. So to get started, you can try climbing the short wall here. Just push against the wall and hold A. Nice one. Whatever. That climb is easy. Real pros use the big wall. Alright, bet. Oh, shoot. If you're having trouble with the big wall, just watch my technique. It's highly refined from years of climbing. Alright bro, show us your technique. Oh wait, we could kind of use this as a jumping off point maybe. Ah oh, shoot, I guess not. Keep falling off.
Yeah, I don't think we can make that yet. Oh, you might need to jump from the other platform. Okay, so I guess we were doing the right thing. Okay. Huh. Not really sure how we're supposed to do this. Oh, we almost had it. So do we jump off? Let's try jumping off in there. Sorry, this is kind of harder than it looks. So what are we supposed to do here? So the jump it doesn't... That's not how you do it. Oh, there we go. Whoa, good climbing. Eh, it was alright. So, I know you can fly and all. But your stamina will last longer if you climb places instead. Just something to keep in mind. Cool. So what's next? To Hawk Peak. Oh, okay. I still need to warm up myself. But I'll see you up there? Alright. I guess I'll see you at Hawk Peak. I guess so. Yeah, still getting used to the controls a bit. This is beautiful. Excuse me, do you have the time? Um, yeah, let me check. See, normally I would know the time. I just lost my watch. Oh, um, sorry. It was very expensive. And priceless when you consider the sentimental value. I see. <laughs> if you find it, can you bring it back to me? Sure. Please don't sell it on the internet or whatever. It's very valuable to me. No, don't worry. I'll bring it right back. Okay. Thanks. Oh, look, another golden feather. Right, awesome, now we have two. Oh, look, it's a shovel. Awesome, we can trade that guy for his shovel. Jim doesn't actually own a shovel, so he wasn't able to dig any of it up. Oh, Jim was the guy with the metal detector. You want to hear another rumor? Sure, why not? So Deborah was up at Outlook Point the other day. She said that when she looked through the binoculars, she could see a mysterious island. How mysterious? There's going to be a marathon race at Meteor Lake today. The competition this year is fierce. Alright, let's go ahead back to the beach so we can trade that guy for a shovel. Hey, what's painting? 
Oh, you can't tell? Um, it's supposed to be the coastline, though I'm trying to go for a more abstract look. Ah, I think I can see it now. It's still a work in progress, but I don't know if I like where it's going. I think I'm going to head over to the Blackwood Forest Lighthouse soon. I'm still trying to find the right inspiration. Come on, shovel boy, where are you? There you are. Hey, check out the shovel I found. It might be a little more your size. Oh, that's perfect. Let's trade. When you want to use my shovel, press Y to open your inventory and equip it. Keep it fresh. There we go. Nice, we got some money. I remember there being another dig point somewhere. Here, I think. Huh, no, maybe I misremembered. Sorry about that. got an extra jump off that umbrella. Some more cash, awesome. Oh, I see another dig point. Peak Trail. Notice. Hawk Peak Trail is a strenuous hike. You might need a golden feathers to complete it. Golden feathers are for sale at the visitor center. Alright, and I think right at Hawk Peak Trail is where we'll end it for today's episode. Um, so if you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, and we'll pick up right where you left off in the next episode. So, I'll see you then.